You can see that I have three sets of elements placed in my model. So there is an architectural element. So this is a set of architectural elements. I have a set of structural elements and I have a set of mechanical elements. What I would do right now is with the help of our drawing rules, I would try to annotate all these options. So I would, to create an drawing, what we would do is we would go to drawing production and I would select plan. Now the first plan I would be creating is for the architectural elements. So the drawing sheet that I would be selecting is architectural floor plans. So this is a default floor plan that is shipped with like out of box. So now as I have mentioned previously that the cut plane location of the to get the architectural elements we must need to cut through the architectural elements. So here you can see I have cut through the elements and I would give the name as arch drawing. I've toggled off the sheet because we'll be more discussing about drawing. Now here my visible edge is set to cast because if you remember the by default the configuration variable attach that is related to attachment state that is set to cast. So that's why my settings over in here is cast automatic. So right now what I would do is I'll untick the open model option. I'll click on open. The reason why I have unticked the option is uh, I have my uh, click, uh, like clippings to extend and include all these elements. So right now what I want to do is I, not, I wouldn't want to go to toggle cropping and just restrict the drawing in this side to only show me this portion. So now if I go to my arch drawing model views, you can see over in here that I already have got a property that I have assigned for the door, uh, doors, uh, ID number that is SD single door 101. Now the wall haven't popped up automatically. So for that what we need to do is we need to go to re uh, reference presentation dialog. We are in the reference presentation dialog. We need to go to the architectural and in here there is no option for architecture. So what we need to do is we have to either add one in here or we have to create one. So for this exercise, I already have one created, that is wall. So what I would do is, I would go and modify it just to show you guys that uh, how it is doing. So as for the image I have shown earlier, so it is a rule type of plan annotation, I have applied it to the wall so that on the cell dropdown, I can get the cells that I've created. I would select this option, I will click on save and add to view. When it, once it gets add to view, what I would do is, I'd push the changes to my save view and I will reload. So once I do the reload, you can see that I have got my annotation automatically coming up in here. Now I can definitely move and change how, however I want to look at it and this will work. Now if in the drawing model I keep on adding doors and walls and when we move back to the drawing for the architectural, this rule of door and wall would always get implemented. So it is an one type, a one time process. Once we are done with it, we are done. We don't need to worry about anymore about uh, adding that uh, rule into the dialog. Now we would move back to our design models and now we would go to our structural rules. Again, I will go on and selecting the floor plan and this time I would be selecting structural framing plans and 
for structural there is not no necessary of uh, uh, of the necessity of uh, having the cut plane going through the elements that is one good thing about the structural roots now i give the name str drawing and again i would not open it so i'll click on okay and then clicking on here i would just so what i do is so i'll toggle crop for this one so that we don't see the architecture elements do you have and toggle crop also on this side so that we don't see the mechanical elements that are in there so i'll move back to the structural drawing and in here you can see that structural drawing looks like this because we don't have any particular rules applied to this so for that we will be again going to our reference presentation structural and we can see that there are many rules applied but not the rules that we want so what we can do is with update 10 what we have got is previously what we need to do is we need to manually select like all of them manually checking them or selecting them but with update 10 we have the functionality of selecting all of them at once and then toggling off the visibility or deleting them so i would hold on shift and then select all of them and i would click delete the attach rule and everything is gone so that is one good thing that has been applied in update 10 and this works with all the three rules be it architectural structural or mechanical now we can create a new rule or we can use the existing rules that are there in this purpose we will be creating a new rule. So I'm clicking on plus and I would give a rule name. So I'll give my rule name to be custom rule. So when we are in the rules dialog, there's also one thing is the destination. So where it is coming from, this was also not there previously. So where it is coming from, it's coming from organization and there's a rule name. I can set it to different and then but then we need to have a rule file in there to apply the changes. Now, once we once we will be creating the rules, I would be demonstrating all the processes. So what we want is we want a single line. And let's say I want to have a different color, this color 5. Now, we'll move to the double line graphics. So you can see that the double line is not toggle on. We would toggle on the double line so that we can see our widget. So right now, if this resymbolizes with cell option is toggled off, that means there is no cell options to input. So what this will do is this will give us a rectangular block or as per the element. So what I will do is I'll just quickly change the length of the double line how I want it and have a different color, yellow, in this case. And then I would move to the label section. And by default, everything is toggled off because I'm creating a new rule. I would want to have my section name and just have a text I want. So then like a little bit of option and position. I want it at the beginning of it, let's say. So 20%. Uh, now our main goal in here was to explore the custom labels. So to work with custom labels, what we need to do is, so we need to come in here. So we have to input the name. So once we input any name over in here, the add dialog would pop up. So what we do is str and then add dialog is pop up. So I'll click on add and then this whole new section has came in. Again, I'll give it one and this time I want it to at the middle of it. And in the label format, as I've mentioned, that the how Open Buildings Designer Rules Engine knows that we need to work with it is by adding at the uh, adding to percentage and inside this percentage whatever the property I want to use I have to add it so right now I won't be adding anything because I won't be showing you how we can get the proper name so right now I'll just create it not add any value I'll click on OK uh, yeah so this is what it is saying is it is an incomplete definition and a format so this is the label format uh, must be specified so for now what I would do is I would just delete it and I click on OK. I uh, would navigate to my custom rules. And then add to view. 
and I'll move them to the top of the hierarchy. I'll click on push to the save view and click on reload. So once I do the reload, you can see that all of my options have came in and these are the section names that have came in. Now to apply the rule, what we need to apply the custom property rule, what we need to do is we need to go to design models and so the property that we want, so what we need to do is we need to just select one element and then we can go to the modify properties dialog. In the modify properties dialog, the property, the custom property that I want to populate is this property, str prop. Now we need to toggle on this description. Once we toggle on this description and click on this property, we can see the property name. So what I need to use inside those percentage sign is this item. So what it, what it is, it is str underbar props, then a forward slash at, at str underbar serial name. So there is no option to uh, copy it. So I would remember it. And then, so now we would move back to our structural rules and go back to the rule that we created. Go to the labels. We just again do the same thing, str, add the property, go to str, have the value like let's say at 50. I have at 50 and the text size of 1. And I format what we need to do is to uh, be at the beginning and end of uh, two percentage sign and the name. So it was str underbar prop. Now a forward slash at str r underbar serial number. So once I add this attribute, I can click on OK, update, and push to the save views. And once we reload it, you can see that we have got the custom properties in here. This is overlapping. We can just shift it. So, so like this way, we can definitely do. Now moving to the resymbolize option. So, so you can see everything is now rectangle. But let's say I have an necessary to have like arrow. So the same thing I would need to toggle on and then just need to add the name and click on OK, update, push save views, reload. Oh, I think that rule is not, I think the name is not proper. So you can see the name was a bit different. So you can see how the name would just drop the rule. So once I have corrected the name, you can see the shapes have came in. I can go on and change the unit as per, as per the requirement. Now moving back to the drawing and I'll quickly go through the mechanical drawing. So I'll go to here, the same process again. And let's say mechanical. So I would just quickly create the drawing and do not open it and then move it and then just open it and I can see it's already toggle cropped so it's good. Now we can just go to the plan view that we created and uh, you can see that the values are already getting populated, the properties that are assigned. So now we can again uh, delete by shift control and deattach and have our new rule. The rule is again the similar way. So we can have the name, but the main the, the main place that I want you guys to see is this plan symbol. Once we click on the plan symbol and use cell, now we can definitely have our cell library coming. So we can use any cell library. So right now I'll be using the cell library that I've created previously that is annotation DG and so there is my arrow. So I can select it and then I can apply it to the element. So now I would say inline and I'll say let's generate the single line also for this. Oh, I won't be wanting it because I want to signify the single line only over in here. So I can click on OK and you can see that so inline is here but 
So now, now again, I want to show the B storm. So we have the option select and set, and then I can click on manage IDs. You can see this new dialog comes up. This works. So now I need to click on the select elements. I can click on this inline device that I have and accept. So this, the, the number of the element have came in. I can click on close and the number have came in. So I can just go on on the inline, go to add to view and close. And I would just move them up. So it's in here. And I would again, the shift, detach this and push to the save view, reload. And you can see this is now how it shows. I don't have any other rule applied. So that's why uh, the other items are showing as it is showing. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.